I'm in Hebron, the largest remaining Palestinian city. In 1968, Israeli settlers occupied a hotel here and never left, beginning the colonial settlement. Today, a couple hundred of the most ideologically extreme Zionists have staked claim to the heart of the old city. Hebron, one of the oldest cities in the world, is divided into two parts, known as H1 and H2. H2 is completely under Israeli military control. About 120,000 Palestinians live in H1. About 35,000 Palestinians and 700 Israeli settlers live in H2. You cannot travel freely between the areas. Many people who live between areas have to use these checkpoints to go to school or work, which can hold them up for hours. The Empire Files obtained hidden camera footage of one of the main city gates. Here, in one of the main commercial and historical cities in all of Palestine, the same practice of kicking the residents out of their homes for Israeli settlers rages on. Everywhere you go, you're being watched by an Israeli soldier. And that is not a rare occurrence. According to Human Rights Watch, Israeli soldiers often kill civilians by firing randomly into their neighborhoods. But sometimes the killing is much more direct. <laughs> Despite fake condemnations by the U.S. government, this situation is only possible with the vast financial and military support from the U.S. Empire. Every rifle, every home demolition, every innocent life taken is paid for by the U.S. taxpayer. As Palestinians defend their right to exist against increasing Israeli extremism, both from the government and settlers, the people of the U.S. must demand that these crimes are not done in their name.